Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are real estate commissions changing? If you're buying or selling a home, you might have heard rumors about changes in real estate commissions. Let's break it down. Historically, real estate commissions have been a significant part of the home buying and selling process. Typically, the seller pays a commission, usually around 5 to 6% of the home selling price, which is then split between the seller's agent and the buyer's agent. However, things are changing. In 2023, a series of lawsuits against the National Association of Realtors, NR, and several real estate brokerages led to a major settlement. As part of this settlement, NR agreed to pay $418 million in damages and to change some of its commission practices. Starting in July 2024, one of the key changes is that commissions can no longer be advertised on multiple listing services, MLS. This means sellers can still offer to pay a buyer's agent's commission, but this information must be shared privately rather than publicly on the MLS or sites like Realtor.com and Zillow. Another significant change is that buyers must now sign a written buyer agency contract with their agent, clearly outlining how much the buyer's agent will be paid. This contract is already mandatory in 18 states, but now it will be nationwide. This shift aims to bring more transparency to commission payments. Buyers will now have to discuss and agree on the payment terms with their agents directly, rather than relying on the seller to cover these costs. For sellers, the new rules mean they can still negotiate the commission they pay to their listing agent, but they won't be able to negotiate the commission offered to the buyer's agent on the MLS. There are predictions that these changes could lead to lower commissions overall. Some experts believe commissions could drop by 20 to 30 percent, or even as much as 50 percent, as buyers and sellers gain more control over these fees. Despite these potential savings, there are concerns about how this will affect first-time homebuyers, since they often need more guidance and may not have the extra funds to pay their agent directly. It, they might find it harder to afford professional representation. For now, buyers cannot roll their agent's commission into their mortgage, but there is speculation that this rule might change in the future. In summary, real estate commissions are indeed changing. These changes are designed to increase transparency and potentially lower costs for both buyers and sellers, but they also introduce new complexities and challenges, especially for first-time homebuyers. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.